Today I think we're going to tackle the roof vent. And that's, you know, probably one of the most important parts on a van build because even with tons and tons of solar, air conditioning is very hard to achieve. And I don't have the room on this van to do it. So that leaves only a good ventilation system and a good fan. So I did a bunch of research. You know, I've been putting these uh, fans on RVs for a long time, but Max Air has come up with probably what is now the best. It's the Max Fan Deluxe. And this thing has got all the bells and whistles and it'll move 900 cubic feet of air. That's a lot of air. So I'm just going to open it up and take a look at it. And most important of all is I need to get up on the roof and look at where I'm wanting to put it because this has a different design than traditional fans. Uh, so I need to get up there and really look. It goes back to that measure twice, cut once. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Okay, as always, I'll leave a link in the description below on this bad boy. Good packaging. They come in smoke color and white and I just thought you know if I'm gonna try to make this a little stealthy I'm gonna go ahead and go with the white. So that's what I did. Well that's nice and low profile. And this part of course is what goes inside. the inner workings. Okay, going to check out the roof and see if it's going to work up there with the solar panels. Okay, one of the things that was really concerning was, is this going to be narrow enough to fit in the thickness of a van roof? I've seen them on a lot of builds, so I was pretty confident. But you know, you only have about an inch to an inch and a half of thickness on a roof of a van. And the way this is designed, this will sit right on top. And as you can see, that's not going to hang down inside the van. Headroom is a commodity, especially on one of these express vans that, you know, isn't uh, like a sprinter and it's not tall. So headroom, like I said, is a commodity. So that's going to be great, that part of it. They send this big thick inside shroud so that if you do put it like in an RV or something that has a lot of insulation, it'll, it'll work. But we will have to be cutting this down. All right, now I'm going to crawl up on the roof and we're going to take a look and see if it's going to work. All right, if you remember, that's where we're going to put it. We've got this brace, so it's going to have to go right in behind that. And this brace is approximately eight inches behind the back roof rack. So if we take a look at this, we do eight inches. We're looking at about right in that area there. which if you look at the overall roof of the van, solar panels will be in between those two racks. And that will be right there. And if in the future we ever decided to add more solar panels, we could actually put like a 200 watt right back there if need be. Or we could of course spread these out a little bit and maybe add a couple more there. 
but I really believe that the uh, 200 watts of solar that we're going to put on here is going to work out just fine. All right, there we go, measure twice. These vents are designed to go into a 14 by 14 roof vent. And I have got 19 inches of clearance. So probably what I'll do is come in with a brace here and then go the 14 inches and then put the whatever brace needs to be there. So that is what I will work on next, uh, measuring up what size wood it is. I know this is from here down is three quarters of an inch and from this to right there is approximately a half inch. So we're probably going to make the wood about an inch thick. The key is to have the bracing that goes around the outside of the 14 by 14 vent the same thickness so that it's the same as this bracing here on the ceiling. Okay, we'll get to work. If everything is, is correct, what I now have is this notched out, and it's a 14 and an eighth by 14 and an eighth square, which will allow that 14 by 14 vent to have just a tiny little bit of wiggle room, and then that should be able to be braced right up on top. And then that gives us something to screw through the roof down into the wood to make a good solid tight fit so that <laughs> we won't get any leaks through the roof. So, let's go see how it works. Okay, this is the center. And so we want it to be in this area and we want it as far back as we can get it away from the rack. So we're gonna hold it to this end. So that would be like this. Right, something like that is what we'll have. As you can see, it's smooth here and here, so that when we put the the paneling in, it will, you know, make a good, nice fit. So there you have it. So we've got them screwed up there, but the screws that went through the metal are just a tad bit long. So what I'm going to do is cut off the point, maybe. Yep. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the points off. That way they'll be down far enough that they won't hit the metal of the roof and it just, I would feel better about it. We've got plenty of clearance, but I always like to uh, better safe than sorry. So it's looking pretty darn good. Got it all squared up. And by doing this, by doing this, this is going to make the ceiling very stout and where this uh, vent is, will sandwich it down good and tight and it's not gonna leak. So, continue on. Well, as I was gathering the stuff together to 
put the vent on the roof, I noticed that the putty tape that I have here at the house is pretty dried out. So I think that's a good place to stop for the evening. And we'll go ahead and call this video a wrap. And we'll start in on the next one on the cutting out the hole on the roof and installing the vent itself. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Later.